Okay, very quick video about how I am doing my uh, false floor drawer setup in the Colorado 7. The seat's removed, so I chose for false floor so that I can put solar panels underneath, you know, side walls of awnings, whatever else. I went for alloy because it's light. It is flexy, but fingers crossed that will be strong enough with ply. Here's my 12 mil ply. I got some marine carpet off a mate. Bought a single Titan drawer off a guy on Gumtree. A 70 by 35 or 90 by 35, is it? I forget. Two massive bolts. They are 7 16ths UN, oh, whatever. I don't know the, the numbers, but it's 7 16ths fine thread. A um, couple of spaces underneath, but that's in straight into the uh, factory point. So I took the seat belt off. That's just going to hang there, so it's not removing it. And that's the seat belt mount. That's a that's a seat mount. Seat mount here, still available. You could fix to them. There's another one just in there on the side. Plan is to have battery and possibly water bladder in this space, which is awesome because you've got easy access when these chairs fall, fold forward. Plies down. Now I just got to cover it with the carpet, but. There's my solar panels in underneath. They slide in, plenty of room for other bits and pieces under there. Still got access to the factory tie down points, which is something that I wanted to make sure of. Can still get to my jack. Yep, sweet. Pretty solid, it's a bit flexy, but I'm not too phased by that. We'll just wait and see if I have to put more rails in then so be it. Carpet's in. I'll just use some of this stuff. Sellies, bonds, pretty much everything. And there it is. I just wanted to give a real quick overview of what it's like once it's full. So this is pretty much our basic setup for if we were to go camping with the fam. With, if it was just me, it'd be a lot less, much more lightweight, but this would be food and uh, cutlery, crockery, etc. This would be beer and some wine or something. In this back tub is recovery gear, compressor, chainsaws, heaps of stuff in there. That is extra stuff, so camp oven, extra butane cans for the cooker, some tools. Um, these would be clothes and this would be clothes, so adults, kids clothes or something like that. And it's all tied down, so I've got some tie down points at the back and then just onto the, the thingy. Strip light in there, um, tire deflator, and a bar light in there, um, some gaffer. Um, I usually run three two litre water bladders along the back here. Um, they're really cool because they just dangle out and you just do some water out the back. Now, there's so much gear under here, so awning wall, uh, collapsible bucket, the new panels, so they're just, um, just uh, super cheap auto folding 100 watt panels, um, stainless steel cooking, uh, what else we got under here, toolkit, uh, another sidewall, and my gas cooker. That's everything that goes under there, so there's a lot of space under there. I'm gonna go through all my electrical. That's, I'll do another video on that. Just 12 volt stuff here, how I did that, where the battery is, um, where I store water, etc. The cost. So there's uh, $61, $8, what's that? About 70, 78. Plywood, some washers, so there's 100. We got 110 bucks. Roughly, oh, plus the drawer and the carpet my mate gave me.